Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Duckworth, an Associate Professor in the School of Design at RMIT, Melbourne, Australia. I will present, along with Associate Professor Shigenori Mochizuki at Ritsumakin University in Kyoto, Resonant Webs, an international online collaborative arts performance for individuals with and without a disability. In this paper, we discuss the creation of an international online proof of concept sound arts performance developed in collaboration between artists in Australia and Japan. We report on a hybrid workshop that combines online and face-to-face -face interaction, which has enabled sound artists with intellectual disability to participate in activities with international outreach during the COVID-19 pandemic. Based on the artist's initial reflections in developing the performance, we discuss opportunities and advantages of online digital spaces for international collaboration and co-creation in community arts contexts. The significant impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the arts, cultural and creative industries are among the most adversely affected industry sectors due to measures to control the spread of the virus such as social distancing and closure of physical venues, prohibiting public arts performances. In response to the crisis, individuals and arts organizations with resources to do so have adapted existing materials to the newfound restrictions, luring wider audiences via digitized archives, tours of virtual exhibition spaces, and streaming performances for what would otherwise be localized public events. However, those who need specialized support and who wish to participate in such activities are often excluded by a lack of availability, accessibility, and or the capacity of creative arts organizations to accommodate their needs. We have been working towards creating opportunities for individuals with disability to jointly collaborate in the arts using interactive digital technologies through various workshops, performances and exhibitions. The Resonant Web's project is an arts and cultural collaboration between researchers at RMIT University and Ritsumakin University to develop a proof of concept live online public sound and visual performance aimed at enhancing the participation of artists and individuals with a disability in the arts industry in Australia and Japan. The relationship was further augmented to include two community arts organizations, Jolt and Slow Label, and artists Ryoko Aoki and the Amplified Elephants, who are musicians with an intellectual disability. To develop the performance, we designed a 12-week program to facilitate the online collaboration between the partner organizations and the artists between January and March 2021. The workshop structure was delivered via a blended mode of online sessions with the artists in Japan and face-to-face -face in Melbourne when restrictions permitted. The workshops were divided into three consecutive four-week activities, which included ideation, experimentation, composition, and rehearsals. The scope of the project was to develop a proof-of-concept performance using online technologies to facilitate international participation. We didn't wish to intervene in the existing creative processes of the artists or attempt to establish formal scientific evidence through empirical observations and qualitative analysis. Rather, we reflected upon the artist's existing relationships with technology, motivated by our desire to facilitate increased participation outcomes for the artists. We expressed the collaboration as an elision of cultures between Australia and Japan via no theatre, contemporary sonic art and technology as workshop themes to explore in developing the performance. In the initial conceptualization stages of the project, we gravitated towards developing a contemporary interpretation of Hagoromo, a traditional Japanese story told through no theater performance. No theater is a form of musical dance drama that crystallized in the 14th century in Japan. 
Slow Label invited no singer Ryoko Aoki to perform Hagoromo as a form of traditional Japanese prayer for the well-being of all people during COVID-19. Jolt invited the Amplified Elephants to create an audiovisual performance as an interpretation of the No Orchestra to accompany the No Chanting. Representing the collaboration between the Japanese and Australian performers who were connected online but physically separated was an important issue. For the performance, we adapted an existing digital media artwork called Disruptive Critters to visualize and connect the musical performances of the Japanese and Australian artists during the online stream performance. Disruptive Critters is an audiovisual interface originally designed to augment live vocalized sound art performances. The interface consists of a 42 inch multi touch tabletop display, a graphical menu of six sound generating entities or critters at either end of the display that users can select. Users can drag and place multiple critters into the scene using finger touch gestures. Each computer-generated critter outputs unique vocalized sound samples produced from a database of 456 pre-recorded abstract utterances that resemble human-like emotions. In developing a hybrid version of Disruptive Critters for the performance, we selected the Flip Critter as a central motif and virtual avatar to represent the Japanese and Australian performers. Avatars are used to visually represent the performers in virtual space, rendered and composited as an overlay onto the live video stream. <laughs> My name is Shigenori Mochizuki, an associate professor in Ritsumeikan University, Kyoto, Japan. And I will briefly discuss the technical implementation and the performance. The Heavenly Maiden and Fisherman in Hagoromo story are each represented by a glitter. The movement of each glitter is linked to the audio input of singing voice of Japanese performer Ryoko Aoki and sounds generated by the Amplified Elephant Performer in Australia. A continuous load amplitude will cause the critter to rapidly change shape, while a momentary sound will create small movement. In addition, the audio value of overall performance was used to trigger and activate stage lighting pattern at Spiral Hall in Tokyo. For the performance, we use Yamaha Sync Room to monitor the audio from each performance venue. Several broadcast 1080p resolution video camera were set up at each venue to capture the performance from multiple viewpoints. The video from Australia was transmitted to Japan using LabVIEW suite of broadcasting technology, which can transmit video with low latency and high quality. The live video stream from Australia was mixed in Japan with live video footage from Spiral Hall before being transmitted for broadcasting. The online performance of Hagoromo was successfully broadcast on YouTube Live on March 28, 2021 as part of events, Slow Movement Showcase and Forum Volume 5 and was positively received by the audience as evidenced by their response in the live chat. The number of pre-registrants was 141, 93 in Japan and 48 in Australia, and the number of viewings during the performance was 204, 186 in Japan and 48 in Australia. However, the exact number is likely higher as many single registrants included the participant extended family member watching the event. The archive of performance reached 554 views as of July 28, 2021. I would now like to show a short video of the event. Sit around this way, Catherine. 
After the performance, the Jolt organization provided informal reflections based on their observations of the workshops and rehearsals, as well as the perspectives of the artists who discussed their experience during the public symposium that was held after the live performance. The written reflection were prompted by four themes derived from our family of participation related constructs model of participation where we propose an integrated approach to understanding the role of interactive technology in disability. The four themes provide an initial appreciation of A, the individual's perspective on interactive digital media, B, the flexibility of the online technology to enable participation, C, how the online and face-to-face -face workshops were designed to afford opportunities for people with disabilities Ability to feel included during COVID-19, and D, the ways in which social cultural forms of participation can promote a sense of agency for the individual. In response to the themes, Jolt reported that the level of engagement along with the ensemble's long history of exploring new technologies as part of their arts practice enabled them to rapidly transition to online modes of collaboration that with the appropriate level of support, patience and perseverance, online activities seem to offer new contexts and flexibility for participation for those with a disability outside of traditional settings, such as a physical workshop and rehearsal spaces. 
Jolt observed the environment and context were an important factor in regulating the participation and sense of inclusion for the amplified elephants. Their familiarity of working in the studio space environment and online within the context of a highly organized schedule assisted in reducing anxiety and focusing their engagement on the creative process. Finally, the workshops between Japan and Australia give space to support individual ex experiences that enhance the awareness of self-identity, control and choice through social interaction. In reflecting upon the experience of participants in the development of Hagoromo, we have begun to understand viable processes that can sustain the artists in using technology to create virtual performances. Our preliminary findings indicate online virtual performances can enable participation for artists with a disability, support their personal preferences, provide a sense of belonging to a group, enable development of specific competencies, and support intercultural dialogue and artistic expression. We consider our contribution a work in progress towards a longer term research investigation to understand participation in the context of interaction design and community art to foster inclusion and contribute to positive change in personal and collective well-being. However, we see several challenges ahead, such as the economic viability of the technology for underfunded community arts organizations, the accessibility and skill sets required to operate the technology, along with the persistent latency issues of online media and virtual technology connected across distance. Thank you for listening to our presentation.